Factor tables are more useful than multiplication tables. Multiplication tables show you the answer of multiplying two numbers. Definition. A factor is a number that can divide evenly into another number. Example. 5 times 6 equals 30, so 5 and 6 are factors of 30. Example. 3 times 10 equals 30, so 3 and 10 are also factors of 30. However, multiplication tables are not the best place to look if you want to find all the pairs of numbers you can multiply to equal a particular answer, such as 30. Here are factor tables for the numbers 1 through 30. A factor table organizes multiplication facts according to their answers. For example, there are four ways to multiply two numbers to equal 30. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and 5 times 6. Let's look at the factor table for 30. Notice that the first column always starts at 1, then moves downward, counting up from 1, skipping numbers that do not divide evenly into 30, such as 4. The factor table stops at 5 because the next counting number after 5, i.e. 6, is already on the table. So listing the fact 6 times 5 would be the same fact as 5 times 6. As a rule, the left-hand column will only count up to the square root of the factor table number. For example, the square root of 30 is approximately 5.47, so the factor table can only possibly go up through 5. Listing numbers higher than 5 will produce duplicate facts. Factor tables such as these are very useful for solving problems about quadratic equations, such as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. You will want to print out the document, Factor Table Tool, to use for reference during your practice problems. The printout includes a blank copy of the tables so you can practice filling them in yourself. Ultimately, on a test, you will need to make your own factor tables from memory or using a calculator. For example, let's look at how to find the factor table for the number 72. You might find it helpful to use a calculator during this exercise. We begin dividing 72 by the number 1, and then the number 2, and then the number 3, and we continue dividing 72 by all the counting numbers through the square root of 72, which is approximately 8.5. Let's begin. 72 divided by 1 is equal to 72. Next, 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36. Next, 72 divided by 3 is equal to 24. Next, 72 divided by 4 is equal to 18. Next, 72 divided by 5, well, 5 does not go in evenly, so we will not include 5 on the table. Next, 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. Next, 72 divided by 7, well, 7 does not divide evenly into 72, so we will not include 7 on the table. Finally, 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9. And there is our completed factor table. Practice filling in these factor tables yourself.